Today we are going to explore how to make a captivating speech. Have you wondered why you remember someone's speech compared to the others? Today we will find that answer. We have three components to examine, all revolving on these two words, the opening and the conclusion. First of all, let's start with the opening. How you open and conclude your speech effectively makes your speech captivating or not. One of the forgotten aspects of public speaking, especially the opening, is the clothing that you wear for the speech. This is because the audience creates an impression who you are right from the start on how you look. Then the question is, what kind of clothing should I deliver during the speech? If I'm talking of a technical matter or a persuasive matter, then I should wear professionally. For example, wearing a suit and having no flashy ornaments. Because at the end of the day, we want the audience to focus on you, not on the distractions. However, if I'm speaking about cycling, it would be good if I wear lycra or helmet or bicycle related clothing to reinforce the message of the speech. So always choose a suitable clothing that is needed for your speech. Second, your beginning part of the speech. There are two ways to do a beginning. First is what I like to call a formal greet to everyone in the first go. For example, Toastmasters, fellow Toastmasters and guests. Or if you are in an office, CEO, managers and fellow colleagues. Second way, to give a snippet of what you are going to say for your speech. Let's give one example. I'm going to speak about New Horizons. The former way would be Toastmasters, fellow Toastmasters and guests, my speech today is New Horizons. The second way, I was relaxing at the beach. I was looking through the horizon. And as my eyes were peering through, I saw my dreams coming out. Toastmasters, fellow Toastmasters and guests, my speech today is about New Horizons. Then the question you will ask, there are two ways. Which way do you go for? The first way, the formal grid, you go when you're doing a technical presentation. For example, you're presenting a sales topic or something about a new software. The second way is very good if you're here to persuade someone or to inspire someone. Why? You, this second way distinguish you from all the speakers that you have. I strongly recommend everyone who is watching this video to listen to the world's best Toastmaster speaker of 2014, Mr. Dhananjaya. Observe how he opened started the opening. It's very different to the standard formal grid. Having said that, always remember to choose the right way to start for your right context. The other part of just opening is there some mistake all of us do. Do not apologize. When we come to the front and speak, 
do not apologize. It's a big no-no. You -no. have a kill effect. Now we got the opening. We had a solid content, but we want to give a good ending. So this is one, two, and we have ending. The best way to end your speech is to capture the essence of your speech. Now let's refer back to what I said about the world's best Toastmaster, 2014 Dhananjaya. His speech title was, I See Something. If you observe his video, he wrapped up his speech with that same three words, I see something. This is the take home message for all the audience. You want your audience not to just remember who you are, but what makes you at that time. That's your speech. Always end with the title or the essence of the speech. And preferably, choose a positive note to end. You do not want the audience to be left wandering or lost, or worse still, being negative. In short, your opening and conclusion determines whether your speech is captivating. Dress appropriately, choose the right beginning structure, and conclude strongly by summing up the essence of the speech. I hope all, all of you will consider this when you write your next captivating speech.